Hello, Year 5. This is Miss Newcomb for your English lesson. You will need a pen or a pencil, your home learning book or paper to write on. I'm going to give you a few seconds to get yourself ready and we will begin. OK, let's start. So your writing task this week is to write a character description and your description will be based on Coraline. We have started Coraline in Destination Reader, so that will be feeding into our English lessons. And each day you'll build up ideas ready to do an extended piece of writing later on in the week based on Coraline, a character description. So let's have a look at this piece of text. Coraline is a curious child. She loves to explore and has a passion for the great outdoors. Coraline has a passion for nature and is intrigued by animals and plants. She can become frustrated with the lazy adults who refuse to pronounce her name correctly. She has an inquisitive nature and her adventurous, rebellious attitude can get her into trouble. Coraline is a fussy eater and is unimpressed by her father's attempts at a delicious, tasty meal. She enjoys eating microwave chips. Coraline is bored by her books and finds toys trivial. She is terrified by spiders and a huge furry spider would make her gasp. Coraline lives in a gigantic ancient house with her parents. She can be quite lonely and isolated at times. So having a look at this piece of text, looking at the words highlighted in red, what feature do you think this might be? Pause the video now and have a think. So today we are going to use expanded noun phrases. An expanded noun phrase adds more detail to the noun by adding one or more adjectives. An adjective is a word that describes a noun. For example, a huge tree, some colourful sweets, the large royal castle. It adds more detail and description to the noun, making your writing more exciting. So an expanded noun phrase adds description. And it includes a determinate adjective noun. My turn, your turn. An expanded noun adds description. Your turn. My turn includes a determinate, an adjective and a noun. Your turn. So what does it add? Description. And it includes a determinate adjective noun. Superstars. So... Determinate adjective noun, that's what you need to remember to include when you're writing an expanded noun phrase. As we can see here, lots of yummy cold ice cream, lots is the determiner, adjective is yummy and cold, and noun is the ice cream. So what is a determiner? A determiner is a word that introduces a noun, a noun. it identifies a noun in further detail. What is a noun? A noun is a word given to name a person, place, animal or object. So we have the train. Determiner is the noun is train. That is a noun phrase. What is an adjective? An adjective modifies a noun or noun phrase, so it describes. So we use adjectives to describe the noun. The hot sun, the blue ball, the cool water. It's adding more detail and description to the noun. So an expanded noun phrase, we have the spluttering train. Determiner is the, spluttering is the adjective, the, na the noun is train, the spluttering train. Adds more detail to, instead of just the train. We can imagine that train coming into the station, spluttering out smoke. So a sentence without an expanded noun phrase, Coraline opened the door. A sentence with an expanded noun phrase, Coraline opened the old wooden door. We can imagine what the door looks like. Coraline explored the big spacious house. Our determiner is the adjective is big and spacious. The noun is house. The expanded noun phrase is the big spacious house. She spotted a wild overgrown rose garden. Determiner A. Adjective wild overgrown, noun is garden. The expanded noun phrase is a wild overgrown rose garden. So which of these sentences uses an expanded noun phrase and how do you know? So just like at school, one, two or three, 
tick and cross. Miss Spink was always saying Coraline's name wrong. Upstairs lived a crazy old man. The rotten net of the tennis court was swaying in the wind. Pause the video now and write your answers. Okay, let's see how we did. So the first one, there's not an expanded noun phrase. In number two, a crazy old man, a determiner, crazy old is the adjective, man is the noun, the rotten net of the tennis court was swaying in the wind, the determiner, rotten adjective, net is the noun. Have I identified the expanded noun phrases? So again, write one, two or three. And there might be an expanded noun phrase in the sentence, but if I haven't underlined it in green, then I haven't identified it. Coraline found a fairy ring with a squidgy brown toadstool. Coraline's house was huge and full of different people. The shy hedgehog toddled past the bush as Caroline, wa as Coraline watched. Pause the video now to write your answers. Let's see how we did. So the first one, a squidgy brown toadstool. Yes, I've identified it. Coraline's house is not an expanded noun phrase. The shy hedgehog is an expanded noun phrase. Determine the shy adjective noun hedgehog. So reminder, expanded noun phrase has a determinate adjective noun. What does it have? Super. So today you're going to use expanded noun phrases when you're writing your character description of Coraline. So which passage creates more description and how do you know? Coraline likes to search for things and be outside in the garden. She does not like cooked food. Coraline loves to explore and be outside in nature. She is very keen to be in the great outdoors rather than inside watching TV. She loves watching animals and is intrigued by plants. Coraline is a picky eater but she adores the warm tasty microwave chips. Pause the video now and have a look. Okay, you should have chosen number two because we can see that we have some expanded noun phrases there. A picky eater, the warm, tasty microwave trip, uh, chips, the great outdoors, rather than outside in the garden. She does not like cooked food. Learning more about her in that passage. Have a look at this one. Coraline's father works with computers. He likes to cook recipes. He is patient with his daughter but would like her to become more adventurous. Or, Coraline's father works with computers in his small study. He thoroughly enjoys cooking, especially a delicious stew. He is a kind and patient man, especially with Coraline. He would like Coraline to be less stubborn about food and try the amazing recipes he creates. Pause the video now and have a think. Okay, you should have picked number two because again there are expanded noun phrases and we're learning more about Coraline's father in his small study rather than he just works with computers. A delicious stew, we're learning what food he likes to cook. So, can you help me improve my writing? Have I included expanded noun phrases in this writing? Where could I add some? Can you help me edit and refine my work? Coraline explored the gardens. She saw a wild rose garden with small buds on the stems. Slowly she walked around, breathing in air. A spider scrambled past her on the wall. Coraline gasped. Pause the video now and think how you can edit this piece of writing. Add more expanded noun phrases, change the ones that are there. How could you really make this work shine? Okay, let's see how we did. So, 
Instead of just the gardens, I changed it to the huge gardens. She saw a wild rose garden with the small buds on the long stems instead of just the stems. I imagine these really long stems growing with small buds on them. Slowly she walked around, breathing in the fresh air. Um, instead of just the air, a black spider, you know, she's scared of them, scrambled past her on the dusty wall. Coraline Glup gasped. So it's just adding in bits of detail here and there where you have a determinate adjective and noun to make an expanded noun phrase to make your writing more detailed. So your turn. Your writing task today is a character description of Coraline. Think of everything we've learned about Coraline so far in this chapter. What does she like or dislike? And don't forget to use expanded noun phrases in your writing to add detail to your character description. So think of what we've learned in Destination Reader about Coraline so far. Do we know what she looks like? Do we know what her house is like? What have we learned that she likes and doesn't like? What does she like doing? Look for clues in the text that tell you. Use your inference skills. If it says she's bored inside, does that mean she likes being outside? So have a think and get expanded noun phrases into your writing today. So let's just have a look. Coraline is a curious child. She loves to explore and has a passion for the great outdoors. Coraline has a passion for nature and is intrigued by animals and plants. She can become frustrated with the lazy adults who refuse to pronounce her name correctly. She has an inquisitive nature and her adventurous, rebellious attitude can get her into trouble. Coraline is a fussy eater and is unimpressed by her father's attempts at a delicious, tasty meal. She enjoys eating microwave chips. Coraline is bored by her books and finds toys trivial. She is terrified by spiders and a huge furry spider would make her gasp. Coraline lives in a gigantic ancient house with her parents. She can be quite lonely and isolated at times. So looking back at this text, we can, you can see where I've added in expanded noun phrases. A curious child, the great outdoors, a fussy eater, a delicious tasty meal, a huge furry spider. So it's just writing what we know about Coraline so far. It's only the first chapter, so we might not know too much about her, but it's where we can add in those expanded noun phrases. And just to help you here, I have constructed and expanded noun phrases with listed determiners, some adjectives, nouns, and then some character description word maps. So think, do we know anything about her face, her hair, her body, what she sounds like, what clothes she wears? Think about what the house might look like. Describe her. Even though you're talking about her, you can talk about the setting and about her parents as well with this character description. Good luck, you five.